What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop plugin called Fractalius. Um, basically it gives this really cool cartoon effect to your images. So I did prepare an image earlier, so this is the before and that's the after. And as you can see it just really adds this, this cool effect to an image. So I'm going to be showing you how to download it, how to install it. And um, I'll give you a quick tutorial on it, but it is pretty simple. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of presets and things, so it's not a hard program to use. You're going to need to know two things before you go to download it. Um, you're going to need to know what bit your computer is. I'm guessing most of you know that, but if you don't, you can head down into this little search bar, type in DXD IAG, and that will bring up your system specs. And then under operating systems, you can see mine is a 64-bit, so I would just need to remember that for when I start to download files. Um, some of you might have a 32-bit as well, so you would need to download 32-bit files. And the other thing you're going to need to have is WinRAR. So if you don't, head into your browser, just type in WinRAR, head to this top one, and you would want to find find your download link even. So obviously I'm English, and I would be 64-bit um, instead of 32. So once that's downloaded and installed, we can go around to getting the actual Fractalius download. So in the download link to the video, in the download in the description even, there will be a Mediafire download link. So just click on that and it will bring you to this page. <coughs> just hit download and you're going to want to find wherever that downloads to. So for me, it just goes straight into my downloads. So I head to Kieran and downloads and you're going to want to extract this. So I'm going to right click hit extract files and I'm just going to extract it to my desktop for now because I will be deleting both of these files so I'm going to go delete that one quick and I'll head to this download that I've just put on my desktop so I'm going to go ahead open that up and of course because I'm a 64-bit I'm going to open up the 5th, uh, the 64-bit install I'm going to hit yes on that now this should straight away set a um, a folder to be installed into so it should come up with something looking similar to this link if it doesn't hit this drop down arrow hit browse head to local disk C um, or whatever your your home disk is then head to program files Adobe and Adobe Photoshop in there you're going to want to find your plugins folder and you're just going to want to hit OK and it will install straight into there so once you've got that just hit install and it will come up with this little um, message saying you know if you've got Photoshop open close it down because you do need to refresh Photoshop um, and once we've done that we can go ahead and delete that file off our desktop as well and now hopefully when we open up Photoshop under our little filter drop down menu we should have a file called Redfield which we do so that's awesome um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up an image quick then if I I'm going to duplicate this picture, so I'm just going to hit Ctrl J on my keyboard. I'm going to head to Filter, Redfield, and Fractalius. And that is it. That is literally the plugin. So as you can see, <coughs> it gives this really, I, I like it. I think it's an awesome effect. Um, and it comes with a whole bunch of presets as well, so you can change how it looks. Um, so it just comes with a whole bunch of different RE effects. Glow 100 is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, this is the actual... Um, preset that I have for the one that I, I last used so these are settings these settings I all changed to myself so I just played around with these little um, sliders to get it looking how I wanted but I did get this from the preset glow 100 um, also up here so you get these two little stars um, if you click those they will invert the colors used so obviously this was the glow 100 look I just clicked this little star it changed it to black and I messed around with a few of the sliders and it gave me this really cool effect so I'm just gonna click OK on that um, and it should just start applying the effect and bang it gives me this really cool cartoony sort of look um, one thing I will do with this is I'll drop the opacity real quick I'm gonna zoom in on that eye I'm gonna bring up my eraser tool make sure my opacity is in around about 50% and I'm just gonna erase from the eye obviously you can't see because I've got the opacity on my layer 1 turned down but I'm just gonna rub out the eye quick so that when I do turn the opacity back up on this the eye stays there um, basically just gives it more definition and that is the Fractalius plugin so obviously as far as the effect itself goes take time mess around with the sliders and get it looking how you want there's not too much I can show you when it comes to that um, but it is a really cool plugin and I hope you guys like it. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.